many of you have heard of the Kennedy assassination? A lot of conspiracies about the Kennedy assassination, right? And to this day, nobody really knows the truth about the Kennedy assassination. Now, we all know, at least we all think we know, what professional wrestling slash sports entertainment slash WWE is all about. We all presume scripted, the outcomes are predetermined, it's the greatest form of entertainment available for your dollar today. Okay, let's go on that premise. Now, I will say something to you in which you will go home tonight and you will either say, Heyman just told me something I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> or you'll say, he's just f***ing with us. And I'll leave it up to you to decide. <laughs> so here it goes. Did I know that the streak was going to end in advance? Yes, I did. Now, who else knew? Now, Vince McMahon went on Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast and he said, well, there comes a time when you give back to the business, and The Undertaker gave back to the business the same way Andre the Giant gave back to Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 3. He gave back to the business because that's, that's the type of man that he is. <laughs> In other words, it's a great answer, and he, but he didn't answer the question that was asked. So, who knew that the streak was going to end? I knew. Brock Lesnar knew. It's obvious the referee didn't know, did he? It's obvious the sound person didn't know, did he? In fact, the only people that can testify in life as to who knew in advance are Vince McMahon, because obviously, if he didn't know, it wasn't authorized. The, the Undertaker, who did collapse backstage the moment he walked through the curtain, who did get taken to the hospital, to such a degree where we didn't know how bad this was, and Vince McMahon left WrestleMania 30 to go to the hospital in the ambulance with The Undertaker. I know. And Brock Lesnar knows. Here's a conspiracy theory for you. Let's say the script called for The Undertaker to win. Let's say Brock Lesnar said, I'm not going to lose. Let's say Brock Lesnar says, I'm going to take him to Suplex City. I'm going to dump him on his head. I'm going to knock him half out. I'm going to hoist him up for an F5. I'm going to drop him down on that third F5. I'm going to hook his leg to where he can't get out of the pinning predicament. And the referee will have no choice but to count to three. Now, let's just go on that premise for a moment. What would happen in case that's the truth? Well, they don't have Brock Lesnar's music queued up because he's not supposed to win. So no music would immediately play. What else would happen? The referee would not be sure that he's supposed to raise Brock Lesnar's hand. The Undertaker, who has been knocked out, can't do anything about it. No one can do anything about it. Not even WWE. They can't fire Brock Lesnar because he just conquered the streak. So, based on what I said to the gentleman who asked one of the very first questions, what if on that night Brock Lesnar had the balls to do something that could possibly get him fired, but because it's so newsworthy, they can't fire him? What if Brock Lesnar, 
decided what he said at UFC 200, that Brock Lesnar does what Brock Lesnar wants to do. Because you can't fire him once he beats the streak. It's too big. And what are you going to say? Oh, he, he took the fall on The Undertaker when he wasn't supposed to? That's the excuse you're going to give on television? Or are you going to let us go on TV the next night, exploit that victory, and let me proclaim my client the one in 21 and one? Now, I'm not saying that's what happened. My question to you is, am I with you? Or am I telling you something that I'm not supposed to tell you?